I showed you the rectangular block yeah, of stone without any human features. You remember? The block, you know, the god yeah. Bushara or the goddess. Now here, they started with the Hellenistic influence. Here you see the block of stone with human features. The big one being the main. You see the square eyes? The square eyes and the nose, but no mouth. They never talk. They never talk. The I mean, they they talk through their messengers. In the Bible, it's always mentioned that we don't see mouth. We see eyes and the nose. You see, but they start the Greek uh, era. The Greek era had their own architecture, uh, and they adopted that. Those who are uh, familiar with the Greek architecture. Doric frieze. This is the Doric frieze. The three glyphs, the three lines. Uh, the, uh, this is typical of the Greek architecture. And this was a stop, a holy stop, where they prayed. They prayed, you know, because they were empty. Petra was first holy. We thought Muslim came 7th century AD. We're talking 1st century BC, 2nd century BC. 7th huh? century AD came Islam. Later, okay. later on. So what group, do, you know, do they know what group this was? I mean, what religion? Did they have a religion? The, before Islam, in the Arab Peninsula, they adored goddesses. Goddesses, okay. That's why she said those are goddesses. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, and the god. Here they adopted the main god because the Edomites ador adored gods as well. They weren't monotheists. The Edomites. We hear of God Kaus, and then they adopted God, Goddess Atargatis, Goddess of Fertility. They started marrying Kaus with Atargatis. You know, all this is adopting the Greek pantheon. Right. Only the Israelites were monotheists. Moabites, Edomites, they, were, they had many gods. Okay, Not like the Greek mythology. <coughs> they wanted to adopt the Greek mythology.